All right, so you've got an approved sender ID, approved templates, and contacts over in the directory. If you remember from our earlier videos, Calera Cloud enables you to send three types of SMS, transactional, marketing, and OTP or one-time passwords. Transactional messages can be appointment details, shipment and delivery updates, and other such informational messages. Marketing messages can be promotional in nature, such as discounts, product updates, uh, offers, and the like. You'll be able to send both kinds of messages by executing a campaign. So now, let's look at how to set that up. Click on Campaigns in the navigation bar on the left, and then click on SMS. If you are already in the SMS dashboard, you can also just click on the Campaigns tab directly. Click on launch campaign over here on the right and this will load up the launch console. Give your campaign a custom name if you'd like and then select the sender ID with which this campaign should send messages. Select the route depending on whether you'll be sending marketing or transactional SMS. To select who you will send this campaign to, click import. You'll see the same two options we saw in the directory but also the contacts you uploaded to the directory previously. In the directory, you can manually select numbers, search for specific numbers, or filter them using these options here. If the numbers that you need haven't been added to the directory yet, no problem at all. You can upload a file directly over here, or copy and paste numbers over here. When you're done, just click here to finish the import. A quick note while we're on this topic, Calera Cloud allows you to personalize the message text using custom variables. Now this feature is available to you when you directly upload the context through the file import option and then compose a fresh message for the campaign. If you plan on using existing approved templates, then a directory selection of contacts will work well too. Also another note, it is possible to integrate your CRM with our platform using API keys, but we'll be covering that in a later video. Now, the only step left is to draft your message. You can draft the text directly in this box and even personalize it using variables if you'd like. To add a custom variable, just type the at symbol within the text box and you'll get a list of all the fields available to you from the file of contacts that you just imported. The URL shortener is also available to you for any links you want to include. A preview of this text message that the user will see will appear in this pane on the right. You can see exactly what your users will read and you can change it up as you see fit. If you have templates that you'd previously set up, which you'd like to use or reuse for the campaign, click on templates to see your existing message templates. Choose the one you need, click import, and it'll load up right over here. Once you're done drafting and have given the text a once over, you can send your message right away or schedule it for later. To run the campaign right away, just click on send and your campaign will queue and start delivering. If you want to set your campaign to run later, click on this icon, set your time zone, date and time, and click on schedule send. The platform will calculate and show you an estimated cost of running the campaign. If it all looks good to you, click confirm and your campaign will be set to go and will show up under a scheduled status on the campaign's dashboard. Once your campaign launches, you'll have performance stats visible to you in the Campaigns tab. The report shows you real-time data of the campaign, how many messages were delivered, how many are in process, how many failed, and why. Once the campaign is over, you'll also be able to see the actual cost of the campaign on the dashboard. URL shortener analytics also include total URL clicks 
and unique clicks further split by device, browser, platform, and country to help you learn more about your campaign success. Now, if you need more insights, be sure to check out the analytics tab. Here, you'll get more information such as the route used and the source of the campaign, as in, was it executed from the dashboard directly or was it driven by APIs? You'll also see more details on why messages were undelivered, more details on the user's numbers, and the cost of that message. Each message gets assigned a unique ID to track in these logs for reporting purposes. So this wraps up Calera's campaign launch feature, which we generally advise for manual notifications and for relatively smaller lists. Calera also gives you the option to connect your systems to ours via API keys. This is particularly convenient for sending activity-based transactional and OTP messages, but we'll cover all of that in an upcoming video.